Out for a hike tonight, looking for some lobster mushrooms. There's Vanessa, and let's see if I can get her. The smells on the walk are the best. But uh, great little area here, and we'll hopefully find some lobster mushrooms to show you. It's so funny. This area, this route, is like the border, this side. We almost never find, like, I don't think we've ever found a lobster on this, my side of that stump. Once we get over there, things start to get exciting. So we're gonna start looking for some little orange bundles of joy. So things you gotta watch for. You may not be able to tell or not, but that little piece of ground there is all kind of pushed up. And there is a mushroom there, but it's the hump, the little, the little hump that is pushing up and underneath it is, come on, a wild lobster mushroom. So they're really good hiders. You probably won't be able to see this. We'll try to get this on camera here, but in this little area here, we have one. See how that soil's been pushed up? Two. And up against the stone here, three. Lobster mushrooms. And see how that's been pushed up right there. I can't get on camera. There you go, right there. Might be something underneath there. Nope. It takes practice. But they are fun. This one was hiding on me the whole time. They are fun to find. Now once you find a spot with them, there's usually a few extra rounds. So slow down and look around. How are you doing so far? Being ahead of me there. Oh, there's a few in there. Not that many. There's at least big ones in yours. Sometimes they're hiding, and sometimes they're saying, come pick me. That's kind of an example of what happens when they're a little too far gone. Once they start to approach the Merlot color, Merlot, they got to go. Get them back to the forest. How'd you guys make out? Oh, there's some beauties in there's there. There's a few more in there. Nice big ones. Nice. 